So in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Microsoft Whiteboard and Microsoft Teams to run a Pictionary game within your team, within your organization, as you're all working from home at the moment. Um, Jeremy Thake, I am in the Microsoft Graph team at Microsoft, and uh, we started to feel a little bit lonely in our offices at home, and so uh, we proposed that we were gonna play Pictionary, uh, which, you know, you just need a set of cards. You don't even need the cards, you can kind of make up things you wanna sketch and guess within your team. And so the way we did this, um, if I just go over to uh, the store, is I'll assume that you're already using Microsoft Teams to run your calls inside your organization. But if you go to search here and do a search for whiteboard, um, what you'll see when you do the search is it comes up as Microsoft Whiteboard as the app. You can get this on the iPad or iPhone as well. And then once you've downloaded and run it, um, you'll have this ability to create new work whiteboards or um, join existing ones. And so you can see here that uh, I've got a whiteboard here. And what you can do is either add people directly. So it's using the Microsoft Graph. Uh, I've already signed into the whiteboard as Megan B. Um, and you can basically add additional people. And it's using the Microsoft Graph to go grab all the people. So I could go grab Adele and Alex and Wilbur into this whiteboard if I choose. But what we can also do in the dot, dot, dot is essentially create a sharing link. And then you turn this on and grab that link. And then I went over to my Teams channel and said, uh, you know, Pictionary, Pictionary time again, pasting the link in. And then when anyone in the team launches that, it will launch the uh, browser. You can view it on the web, which is super useful if you want to like project it on the screen, like after everyone's back at work, this is still a valid thing to do with your team. Or you can just click here and open it directly in the app. Now that's going to see now that I've got Adele is on the whiteboard and I have in this instance, an iPad um, on my desk, which I've been using at home when I want to kind of sit outside and, and do some work from the outside or let my daughter play in the yard while I'm working away. And essentially, uh, when it's Adele's time, um, she will get a series of um, words. She needs to go get the rest of her team that are on the call to guess. Now, you don't have to screen share because everyone has the whiteboard app open on their device. So, um, there was one today, oh, so I'm just going to click this. There was one today, and this is me drawing on my iPad. And you'll see that um, it's coming up on the whiteboard. But what you'll notice is, is that it's slightly out of view. And so uh, what we found was it was best to kind of get some kind of like level of zoom or tracked in um, on, on it so that everyone knew where they were drawing on the whiteboard. And then, obviously, there this is going to be a... I... Kennel, that's right, it's a kennel. Um, and so once you're done with that, uh, what we were originally doing was like scrolling up and letting them draw the next one up here. But we found what was easier was, is clicking on the er eraser once and clicking clear canvas. And then Adele could go with the next one, which, um, oh, let's try this. This one is a castle. Um, and then again, you know, like Adele or Megan or whoever can clear the canvas so she can go again. And so whiteboard is great because it really is real time. You see that and it works without a, without a hitch today. And so I was the gamekeeper. So I looked who was in the call, obviously create a call in the calendar. Um, you can do that really easily. So I can go over to my calendar here, um, create a new meeting. I can say Pictionary. And I can say, I want to have Adele in there as well as me. And, you know, hey, we could do this weekly at, you know, five o'clock. It's no better time to do that with a glass of uh, wine or beer in your hand. And then when you go into this call, what we can actually do is we could go grab that link. So that share link can actually come in the meeting minute notes too. And so, you know, if I come in here, I can click there, I can join the call. And then when I join the call and everyone's in, you just do the audio and have talking heads showing on your Teams environment. And then everyone has their whiteboard app on either a device or you know, split screen. And so they can do the guessing. And then as the gamekeeper, whoever's doing the drawing for the team, you just really need to go in and have um, a one-on-one -on -one chat with them so that you can put their clues in. Now, pro tip here. Um, if they guess Barbie and houseboat really quick and you've got to quickly type in the next term clue for them to go, you're going to be stuck. So I tended to put in like a bunch for them and then they could either pass if they couldn't work out how to do it or uh, when they're done, they can immediately see the next one they're going to go do. And so it was really exciting to um, use whiteboard in that way. Um, again, works on Windows 10 with a touch with your finger, it works with a mouse. So I can come in here 
um, and um, draw my castle a little bit harder <laughs> with um, with a mouse than it is with a stylus or a finger. But um, you can be pretty inclusive um, with all these things. So hopefully this is another fun way of bringing your team together um, using Pictionary uh, to um, it please your team and break the, uh, the dullness of being stuck in an office, quarantined until all this is over. But also for remote workers and remote teams that do this on a normal basis as well, I think it's a great fun way. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time watching people try to draw kennels and castles. So um, enjoy your time and thanks for watching.